It doesn't matter how good you are at SEO and ranking websites or how much traffic that you are able to drive to your landing pages via other means, for example, paid advertising. If you are unable to convert that traffic into a good quantity and high qualified leads, then your website is gonna be essentially worthless to a business owner and they're not going to want to rent it from you. So in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you some fundamental on-page optimization techniques, strategies, ideas, concepts, tips to help you get more leads from the traffic that you are able to drive to your sites. Now I'm going to be doing this via the perspective of a site roasting, or in other words, I'm going to be breaking down a live rank and rent site in front of you, giving you some ideas of some of the optimizations you may want to make on your own site. So these issues that I've found on this site, I just seem to see time and time again. So many people send me their sites uh, and these issues are just persistent, to be honest. Now, this isn't one of my sites. The site I'm sharing with you is um, from a guy named George, who's part of my community. And he has kindly let me share this all with you. So what happened was he started a new thread. Uh, we're talking about his latest project and I've gone back in that thread and given him some ideas of things that he needs to fix and really quickly. So one other thing I should mention is that this site was created for a Google ad campaign. He is testing the niche and trying to get a business owner on board nice and early. So there is an element of him just putting it together. So we do need to bear that in mind as we go through it. But nevertheless, let me now open the site and I'm gonna be sharing with you some of these issues that I have found and already shared uh, with George. So first and foremost, you will see we've got a nice big heading uh, image here, which is a good idea. It gives us an idea as to the kind of service and niche that we're in. The H1 is the niche plus location. That is good practice, obviously for SEO purposes. Now, one thing I wanna draw out quickly, which I really like, and I've not actually seen on many sites here uh, for Rank and Rent, <clears throat> is the fact that he's put the business owner's name in. So it's call Thomas and then the number. Now that's really personal and that immediately gives us, uh, the visitor that is, uh, the idea that you know this is a real person we're dealing with and not just another business. So I think that's a really good touch and that's a good thing you can kind of take away from, from this part of the uh, landing page. We've then got a get estimate button and that links us through to a contact page and I'll be talking about that in a second. Now, if we scroll down, so this isn't too bad, I'd probably cut the size of this heading or image because we need to scroll down to, to get to the next part, which, you know, the, the shorter we can keep our landing page and the less scrolling that's required, the better. We've then got this kind of hero section, which says get started today. Now I'd probably change that um, to something like, here is how we can help you. And then we've got four different kind of benefits, if you like, of going through us. And I'm not entirely convinced these are the best choice of words here. Now, one thing I need to mention, and we're gonna continue talking about this as we go on, is that this is a handyman site. So we're not talking about the niche here. Now, I'm not a massive fan of the handyman niche, and it does give some comp complexity to this, this website, because it's very difficult to pretty much convince someone who lands on the site that we can help them, because we do everything. Um, you know, we're a jack of all trades, if you like. So that can be really, really hard for the visitor to feel that they're in the right place and to feel understood and heard because you're writing for a much wider audience. So that is a bit of a challenge. And I think that's why uh, George has gone for multi-skilled tradesmen here. I can see why he's done that. I'd probably rephrase some of these. So competitive pricing, I'd put that something like we won't be beaten on price. We've got no job too big to, or small. I'd, I'd, want to be, I'd want to be a little bit more specific here and maybe include some of the, the actual jobs that we, we've done well. Uh, maybe we want to include some kind of um, star system, you know, rated five star on Google, you know, those kind of things. The other thing I'd probably do, and I'd put this above this section here, is I'd probably put a testimonial. Um, we want to get some kind of instant credibility from our site visitors. We want to get that trust. We want, pe we want the site visitor, AKA, uh, the customer, if you like, to know that we are a reputable company and that we can, uh, you know, we can deliver for them. We've then got a, a section called just services. Again, I'd probably change that as a H2 to something like handyman services. I make this bigger as well. Now here, this is really important. When we read this, 
We offer many more services and options for all your handyman needs. I am you, one-stop shop for handyman needs. Now, I'm sorry, George, but this is just not going to cut it. Like, people do read your websites. Um, no, I, I, it looks a little bit like keyword stuffing. I don't know if that's why you've done it. Maybe I think, I think to be honest, and to be fair to you, I think you've, you've rushed this site a little bit just to get the Google Ads going and to get the leads coming in. I can completely understand it. But don't forget, like, what's really important here is you're paying money to get traffic to your site. If, if you're not getting the credibility and trust, you're not going to get leads from it. And I think that's what you need to take away from this video. You need to spend time optimizing your site, especially if you're going to run ads. Um, not only because obviously you need to rent, uh, rank, obviously you need to rank the site, so you need to have certain elements in on the page for that. But if you're if you're even if you go down the Google Ads route or paid advertising route, you won't convert if there's issues like this. You know, plug this into ChatGPT, Claude, or whatever, and any any AI tool, and and ask for it to revise it. To be honest, that's better than this. I mean, just make sure you read it and check the grammar. Again, this should, H2 should have changed. Now this button here, request a code, if you click that, it just takes you back up to the top. That should be taking you through to the contact page. It's just confusing to the visitor. So you need to make sure all your buttons work. Then after that, you'll see that we've got all of the services here. Now I've got a few issues with this. Um, again, it's difficult because we're in the handyman niche, but the problem is, if you look at this, they're just too generic. Cleaning service. Cleaning for what? Like the picture is decking, is it, is it decking cleaning? Or do you do all types of other cleaning? It's just not very, very clear. Fencing, again, I assume that's installation, but is it is it something else? Is it, is it repair? Painting, painting what? Exterior painting, interior painting. Shed installations, that's a little bit better. Kitchen, see that should be something like maybe kitchen remodeling. Bathroom, renovation, you get the idea. This is all too generic. And the problem is, these should be click, these should be links and they, these should be going through to different service pages. Again, I'm fully aware that this is a Google ad campaign but in an ideal world for this site these should be clicked through to very specific services so I'll give you an example this should be because it is a it is a clickable link but it's not going through anywhere at the moment this should be going through to something like fence installation and then the location a landing page like that that is what's going to help you rank for that term uh, that keyword in Google and also it's 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 much more useful for the visitor and then that service pages that service landing page could pretty much describe everything you do regarding fence installation, customer testimonials, why you're the right fit for them, et cetera, et cetera. Now, if you offer various different services, say fence repair and fence installation, this could go through to a, a fencing services page. And then from that landing page, you could link through to fence installation and fence repair, like another two separate sub pages. So you see how that structure is really, really important and how that works. You just need to think from a visitor, but not only that, from a, a Google algorithm perspective, the crawl bot and get into all of your pages as well. So I would change that. Also just the, the ordering of the jobs. I'm not really sure this is the right order. It's a little bit all over the place. Um, I get it, handyman is tough, but I try and think about, you know, people are gonna spend more time focusing on those at the top. So is that the focus of the handyman essentially? Make sure that your main services are prioritized, preferably the services that your business owner wants to do or that are mo of most value to them. If I scroll down here, we've got this, who we are, all types of repair services. It doesn't even make sense, to be honest. I, I like the idea of the, the text overlay. Can't really see this. That needs changing, in my opinion. And then something like this, which is a H2, so that's got really good weight for your kind of on-page SEO. It's just fluff. Like, I get what you're trying to do. This is more for the visitor, but it's not really useful. Let's work together to create something beautiful. Well, if, if I've got, like, you know, if I've got, an odd job. I don't really care about it being beautiful. I just want it to work or perform as intended. So I'd change that and I'd try and get some keywords in here. Now this kind of stuff here, the handyman is a small professional local business dedicated to providing high quality services to homeowners, landlords and businesses. Quite like that. Again though, are people going to be searching for homeowners, landlords and businesses in Google? So I'm talking about entities here. Instead, you're probably going to want terms like commercial, residential, you'll typically find that they are keywords that people are searching and that will you know, improve your rankings and things like that. So they're the kind of terms that you wanna get in. Um, and then at the bottom here, this should be much bigger and I'd change it as well. So I'd, I'd probably remove one of these headlines because it's kind of two headlines and I would literally just put something like, get started with your free, no risk or no obligation quotation or estimate, okay? 
And again, you got the call and request a quote. Well, if you think about it logically, people aren't going to really want to get on the phone at this particular, um, well, they may want to get on the phone at this particular point, but what I'm trying to get to here is how, are you, how is the business owner going to deliver an estimate over the phone? It's like, it's not viable. So you might want to change the, the headline, you know, because when I say that, obviously working through a quote, they need to think about lots of different factors. They're going to have lots of questions. They're probably going to want to see different things. So what I would say something is I would revise this to be something like, um, call us today to see how we can help you and then have the, the, the CTA of the call or change this to get started with your free quotation and then just have the request a quote. I wouldn't have both particularly here. Now at the bottom, we've got some customer testimonials. Again, I'd draw them out. I'd have a, head, a headline that says something like customer testimonials. But like I said earlier in the video, I'd actually draw these up much further up the page. I'd probably put them right here. I will probably have, say, one of the best testimonials that we have up here, and then maybe have the rest. Um, you know, that, that kind of works. But as you'll see, there's no kind of footer on this, on this website. Again, I understand it's a Google ad uh, campaign, but I would like to maybe include some company information, some hyperlinks and things like that. So that's that. And then I want to talk about the contact us page because that's inherent with problems as well. Sorry, George. You, you know what? Like, I, I get it. Oh, one, one other thing, actually. If you look at the favicon, you'll see it's the WordPress default. Now, I don't know why this just really annoys me. I think it's I see it happen a lot on, on sites. I just think it looks really unprofessional and you it. You don't really look like a legitimate business. I mean, a lot of people won't really understand that site visitors, to be fair. This is probably more of a, you know, an SEO expert's opinion or someone who looks at a lot of websites opinion. But that just annoys me. So if you can update your favicon, just do it. Get like a little hammer in or whatever is related to your niche. I think that just little things like that, a little bit of branding and that will go a long way. Now onto the contact us page, because as I say, there's lots of issues with here. So firstly, what I don't like about this is the fact that in order for anyone to submit their details other than calling, they need to go through to a separate page. That's just an additional click. That's just additional effort for them. Instead, it would have been better to have, say, a lead gen form perhaps under here. So maybe here, because at this point, the visitor would have come to the site, read through um, everything that you do, maybe got a little, a little bit more convinced you're the right person for them, and then they're willing to submit their details. So I'd put at least put a form here. So I don't like the fact that the first contact form is on this page in this page only not only that i wouldn't call it contact now sometimes it's useful to have a contact page on your site but in this instance it'd be better to have this page the headline being get your free no obligation quote and have that as the url structure as well now onto the actual form itself there should be some more padding here because it's just too close to the the header element it's just it doesn't it doesn't doesn't look great not only that, above this form, I would suggest that you put a couple of sentences just to convince someone that they should be providing you with their sensitive information. You know, their, their name, their phone number, you know, these kind of email. People don't want to give this away uh, to any old site. They want to be, they want to trust that you're going to help them. So I would put a couple of sentences like, we're a local business, we can help you, we, we, we will get back to you in, in under 24 hours, you know, um, don't worry, there's going to be no cost involved to you. The conversation will be quick. We just want to understand that we can best help you. Those kind of things. So a couple of sentences there. Then onto the form itself. In terms of formatting, the first thing that I would do is put a background on it to differentiate it from the rest of the page. I think this box is too wide, so I'd have this as shorter. It just takes up too much of the page. You know, a name is never going to go on for this long. Um, you could do that on a field, uh, on a particular field basis or the whole form. The bottom, the book service, that button's too big and it shouldn't say book service. So they won't be booking anything at this point. They just want to get a free quotation. So it should be submit, submit what they've entered into this form. Um, not only that, that you can't scroll down any further than this. So there needs to be some spacing uh, and, and, and that will help draw attention to the submit button. So there's all those kind of formatting issues. Um, and then onto the actual field itself, Na name. Now, you could put full name, I mean, that name's okay, but you've put name again as the kind of field descri description. That, that's not required. Number, you know, I would change this so that you have name, number, email, and message. You don't need subject and message either. Both of those are the same thing. So name, 
name, number, email, message, and I would make every single one a required field. At the moment, none of them are required, or, you know, so you could submit this with just your name. It makes no sense. You want to get quality leads, and the more information you can get about a potential customer for a business owner, the better. So that's why you want number and email, okay? Two different ways for the business owner to contact them. Now, as I say, you don't need subject. Message, I would change this to how how can we help, question mark, and then I'd put the sub message or the placeholder context, context, content as something like, please provide as much information as you can so that we can help you at, the, at this stage, or just something like that. Make it like you're helping them, make it that you're there to, you know, you're only gonna provide information if you can help them, you're only gonna contact them if you can help them, etc. cetera. Uh, Another thing that you may want to consider doing is having a drop down, which includes the different service offerings. So it could be like, what do you need help with? Question mark. Then it could be an odd job. It could be shed installation. You get the idea just for some something for the visitor to click so that they may not need to even fill out this form. Ultimately, you want to make the process as easy as possible for the site visit, visitor and potential customer so that they submit their details. And it's those details that you, you're going to use to entice a business owner to either buy your leads, rent your site, etc. Now the photo I quite like. I like the idea of having a photo because certain projects need a photo, but I would rephrase the term photo to, do you want to provide a photo to help us with this project? And obviously not make that required. So they're the changes I would make. And to be honest, George, I would get these in place as soon as possible. You're paying for ads, you're paying good money probably to get visitors on this site. And without these optimizations, you're just gonna have a reduced hit rate, basically. You're gonna get less leads and ultimately you'll be paying more. You'll be paying more on this campaign than you perhaps need to do. So that, they're the things that I would change. Hopefully there's something for you watching that you can take away from this video and implement on your site. One thing I would say is just read it time and time again, get other people to look at it, fresh pair of eyes. Leverage ChatGPT, Claude, any other AI tool that can help ensure that you're not only your grammar's correct, it reads properly and it resonates. So in your kind of prompts, you wanna put things like, I am a handyman and I want to convince the site visitor to provide their uh, contact information so that we can work on their project. Please write me a 100 word paragraph, which, could, at the, the, which I'm going to place at the top of the, the uh, contact form or free quotation form to get them to feel like they can trust us and submit their details. They're the kind of things that you need to do. But anyway, hope this video is useful. If you want to, if you want me to roast your site, then there's various ways you can do that. I would join the community. You can start your own thread. You can have other people uh, comment on, on, the, uh, on the thread and give their feedback and take a look at your site. If you want to keep it private, um, there is kind of private messaging in my community as well. So I, I mean, only I can have a look at your site if you wanted to and I can give you personal feedback just like this. But don't worry, I'm not gonna share sites publicly with my audience and my YouTube channel unless you give me the sign off. So I do want to mention that as well. But other than that, best of luck and I hope you have an excellent day.